Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. So I'm gonna take you into my grocery haul first and then I'll show you my meal plan. Um, this week I did 100% um, Fred Meyer grocery pickup. So that is what you're going to see here. I only had one little hiccup and I will show you that. Um, other than that, I'm still very pleased with doing that. I have a lot of things to do this weekend and I just didn't have time to do any extra grocery shopping. So you can see it's not very big and I will show you my meal plan. So let's get into the video. Okay, so as usual, I will have all the points on the screen. Um, I was gonna scan a couple of the new items, but I forgot to do that. So you guys will see that on the screen. So for meats today, as you'll see in my um, meal plan, I am gonna be making a Italian pasta salad. So I needed a couple things for that. So I picked up some turkey pepperoni. This was actually a substitution. I actually ordered the Kroger brand, but um, they substituted this. And then I needed some Canadian bacon for that salad as well. My store has been out of the 99% fat-free ground turkey, so I've been picking up the 93.7. This is going to be for a spaghetti squash dish I'll be making, so I picked up some of this. Chicken's going to be for a couple different meals. I'm just going to make it easy this week, have a couple meals that are grilled chicken. Plus, I'm also going to grill up some chicken to have for lunches to go with the pasta salad and just to have on hand for everybody to eat through the week for lunch. Uh, they had these on sale for $3.99. These are probably, I like these even more than the Happy Eggs, but these are typically $6.99, $7.99. So I just cannot pay that. So when I saw it was $3.99, I thought, heck yes, this is what I'm gonna get. So I picked up some of the Alfresco Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs. I'm gonna be making some Skinny Kitchen Ranch, so I need the two packets of the buttermilk <clears throat> ranch dressing. And then I picked up two of my favorite, the mesquite, you guys know I love this. I use this for my grilled chicken. I am getting some of the French vanilla creamer this week. I've been having the Italian sweet cream, so I like to go back and forth between the two. So I picked up some of this for my coffee. And then also for my coffee, I picked up some fat-free half and half. Sometimes I like it with a little bit of flavor and sometimes not. So I use this when I am just having plain coffee. I'm still loving these two good yogurts from Dannon, so I picked up quite a few because I've been having one pretty much every day. I just like, it's not as sweet, so definitely loving this. So I picked two of the mixed berry up. I picked up two of the blueberry, one of the vanilla, and two of the strawberry. I needed these banana pepper rings for that Italian pasta salad. Coffee, this is the coffee I used when I make like um, coffee drink, like lattes and things like that at home. I am just needed, I have almost everything for the marinara sauce I'm, that I'm going to make, um, but I needed one more can of diced tomatoes. So I have that. We are out of honey, so I just picked up some honey. I'll be making like a Big Mac, kind of like cheeseburger salad. So I like to use this fat-free Thousand Island whenever I make that. And for the Skinny Kitchen Ranch, I needed some buttermilk. And then for my coffee this week, this was on sale for $3.99, so I went ahead and picked up this Javelia French Roast. I'm not real picky about my coffee, it's really just whatever is on sale is what I pick up. And for a little treat today, I picked up some of the Goldfish Grams Vanilla Cupcake. I think you can have quite a few of these for points. This is like 35 pieces of the serving size. I'm pretty sure you can, I think it's like four points for that, and that's quite a few, but I just like to have these. I just um, portion them out into little containers and have these for a little snack sometimes. Something new to me, I well, I've had pop chips before, but these are two flavors I have not had. They had a really good coupon on them, so I thought I would try them out. Um, this is the Bold and Crunchy Buffalo Ranch. Typically, these are pretty low points, so I did not scan them or anything. Um, I was rushing to get my order done last night before the deadline, but here are the nutrition facts. But I love me anything a buffalo ranch, so. Then I picked up these crazy hot ones. I don't believe I've ever tried the crazy hot ones either, so I thought I would give those a try through the week. 
I picked up some green beans just to have as a side dish for dinner one day. These are the steamable bag. I love the um, Herico, I think they have how they pronounce that. Herico Ver, something like that. Anyway, I like those kind. I have not had these for a long time and when I was doing my grocery order last night, this like came, this came up as a coupon, I believe, and it just sounded so good. I used to eat these all the time. Now, if the points are still the same on these, it's like two points for one and like five points for two or something like that. But I just thought this would be kind of fun to have. Um, I'm still doing intermittent fasting, but this is something that I could toast up before I left for work and then just have them at work. Plus, we have a toaster at work, actually, so I could even have them there. But I thought this might be just something fun to have. Plus, we're having breakfast for dinner one day this week, so I could have this. But um, I just haven't had them in a while. And these are the Nutri-Grain Ego Low Fat. So these are the ones that are lower points. I picked up more of the Simply Potato Shredded Hash Browns. I like to have these um, for breakfast or even breakfast for dinner. I, since I haven't been eating breakfast, I have these a lot on the weekends because a lot of times on the weekends um, I will have my breakfast at lunchtime and I just don't have lunch. So, um, but I just love these things and they're only two points for half of a cup so you can't beat that. And I think the rest is produce. I have my favorite apples. These are the Envy apples. I just absolutely love these apples. They are just so good. It's just the right amount of sweetness and tartness. So I picked up quite a few of those. I was really craving raspberries for some reason. And like, fun fact, I used to hate raspberries. And for some reason, just over the last several years, I've just loved them. And I was really super craving them today. So I went ahead and picked, or last night. So I went ahead and picked those up. I picked up a shallot, which this is the, the biggest shallot ever. I can't remember which recipe this was for. A red onion. I picked up some of these Fiesta style vegetables. I had these like the week before last and these were so good. And then I had some leftovers, so I threw them on just a random salad and it was so good on a salad. So I'm gonna definitely start picking these up. But they have beans in them as well. So they have like kidney beans, white beans, garbanzo beans, green beans, red peppers, broccoli. So good. Picked up some salad mix. So we're gonna be having um, that Big Mac salad and then just uh, salads for throughout the week. Baby spring mix for salads, bananas, um, spaghetti squash for that spaghetti squash dish that I'll be making, carrots for snacking, green onions. And then here is the one thing that I am learning now. Obviously I've just learned, you can't really tell, but this is the smallest broccoli crown ever. There is a place to put notes and I'm thinking maybe I need to use that when I'm making my grocery order because um, I need this for a broccoli salad that I'm going to make for dinner one day this week. And this is not gonna be enough broccoli. So I'll have to run to the store that's just down the street from my house. I don't ever shop there because it's like triple the price, but if it's just to pick up broccoli, I'll just do that. But yeah, so it is just so tiny. So that is one thing about grocery pickup. It's on mine anyway, it's by like how many you want. It's not by pound. So I think I, what I'll do is I'll, from now on, if I need to get something like broccoli, I'll just put on there. I want like a large crown or something like that. So this is the grocery haul. Let's go into the meal plan. Here's my meal plan for this week starting on Sunday as usual. I'm using my Carrie L meal planner. I always have a link for this down below. So for my dinners this week, I'm gonna do a grilled chicken with a Greek broccoli salad. Down here in parentheses is what the family's having. So I'm either gonna make tater tot casserole or meatloaf for them. Um, on Monday, I'm gonna do the Big Mac salad. Tuesday, I'm gonna do a spaghetti squash with a turkey meat sauce. The family will be just having regular spaghetti. Wednesday, I'm doing a grilled chicken and I'm gonna do um, roasted sweet potatoes. I have some sweet potatoes I need to use up, so I'm gonna roast those up in meal prep day. Family will be having pizza and salad. I just buy frozen pizzas that they like. That was a, a request from them. Um, Thursday, I'm gonna do breakfast for dinner. I'll probably do pancakes for the family, and then I will do like my usual eggs and cottage cheese and potato thing. Um, Friday will be leftovers, cleaning out the refrigerator, start over for a new week, and then Saturday is either usually like eat, fend for yourself, or we go out to dinner, which lately it's been fend for yourself because I'm trying to save money. So lunches this week, I'm gonna do an Italian pasta salad, which I'll probably pair with just some grilled chicken or something. 
And then I have two cans of chicken I need to use up, so I'm gonna go ahead and make, a, make up a quick chicken salad. Although I didn't, that was kind of a last minute thing, and I didn't buy all the vegetables I normally put in there, so I'll have to see what I have in my um, vegetable drawer. And I may have to pick some vegetables up to go along with that too when I pick up that broccoli. For meal prep, I'm gonna do marinara sauce, Italian pasta salad, I'm gonna roast up the sweet potatoes, I'm gonna cook the spaghetti squash and grill up some chicken strips. So there you go guys, there is my grocery haul for the week. If you guys are not subscribed, please do so. I always have a grocery haul every single week. I will have the playlist here up on the screen and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Oh, meal prep will be up on Sunday, so stay tuned for that video. Bye guys.